Hi, this is Tom from TDK Ski Racing. Today's video, or the video I've prepared for you, this video that you're watching right now, it's about short turns. Uh, I've got a lot of requests and um, this uh, short turn video is one of them that's got maybe the most not maybe the most, but I mean, people have been requested. I think it has to do with uh, with me skiing bumps, and uh, you know, when you when you ski bumps, the most important thing is uh, you should really try to nail that short turn before you go into the bumps because uh, that's what you be, you will be doing in the bumps. So um, uh, we will be w looking into this uh, short turn concept. And um, as you saw from the intro, I was talking about linking turns. That's the most important thing. Well, two things. You need to make these turns short and you need to link them because uh, from one turn you will get momentum if you go into the next one. So this is, um, this is the principle of a, of a short turn. There are, uh, you know, you can divide them into two basic categories. You can either skid or, or brush your turns. That means that you are overriding the turn radius of the ski or the shape of the ski. So you are brushing your, you're skidding your turns. And the other one is, of course, carving. There's a misconception. People think that brushing the turns, I made the video, the return of the basic parallel turn, you know, because I, I, I want to bring this uh, kind of technique back into people's uh, uh, toolbox or don't feel bad about using it. Don't think that you should be carving all your turns. Uh, the, the thing is that when you carve a turn, you put the skis on edge. That's the only thing you do. You just tip them on edge and then you wait for them to turn. So this is the thing, you need to you need to, to understand that when you make short turns, you don't make them, you know, the classic short turns, you don't make them carve. But you can, of course, with slalom skis, like I did, you know, in the intro, uh, in the back, uh, when I was going slow-mo with the black and white thing, there I was carving the, the short turns. So you, you can do that, but that's a little bit a different thing. We're talking about now, we're talking about brushed short turns. You can basically divide those into two categories as well. You know, first you have the categories of, uh, of carb and skidded turns. Then you have, if you go and look at skidded turns, you have to divide them into two categories, uh, turning out of a traverse. The other one is linking turns. So uh, in order to understand the, the basic principle of how you turn, we first have to look at how do you turn out of a traverse? So when you when you're going straight forward, then you have like two forces acting upon you. You have gravity pulling you down. Uh, that will always be pulling you down, no matter what we do. We will always have gravity pulling us down. And as long as we stand on ground, we will have pressure underneath our feet or skis. Uh, in this case, when we're skiing. And the other thing is that you're moving forward. You have momentum going forward. With carving, you could tip your skis on the edges and the skis would start turning. If you're skidding your turn, you can't do that. So what you need to do is ease the pressure under your skis and turn. So back in the days, we used to up on weight. That was squatting down and raising ourselves up, extending our legs. And as we reached the height of the extension, the inerta in us would still keep going up a little bit, pulling us up, just like when an elevator stops, you know, you have this feeling of, of in your stomach that you're a little bit unweighted. So we will use this unweighting to pivot our skis around and initiate a, a skid angle, a brush angle, and oversteer the skis. And as we regain our full weight on the skis, we are already brushing the turns and, and turning around. Now, this is up for debate that you could do. You don't need to do that in order to make a brush turn. I will not go into that now. I'm just gonna, going to talk about what I think for the purpose of this video. The main thing is that we, uh, we understand the concept of uh, easing the pressure under the skis. That's what this drill is all about that I have prepared for you. When we are going straightforward, we need to up and wait to make the turn. And as we make the turn, our skis will start turning. Then we have a new force acting upon us. We're not moving forward anymore. We have something uh, causing friction 
and trying to move us out of the path going straight you know like Newton said uh, you need uh, you know like if you think about the skier, skier will move forward and, and uh, he will continue to move forward forever uh, if not another force is acting upon him. So now there is another force acting upon, a, upon us. We are actually putting the skis on edge and um, that is causing us to turn, deviate out of our path. This force we can use as we turn around to this increased pressure so when we come out of the turn we simply ease off the pressure a little bit by flexing and uh, this momentum that is released we can use to initiate the next turn what what we're doing now in this demo we're not up and waiting in the traditional way just extending our legs uh, and all these things instead we're mimicking the end of one turn and this is a really cool way to ski you know when I ski as a an instructor in front of people I uh, and I, I I want to make turns or when I just ski just just slowly and just go in some place uh, I usually use this uh, this technique of of of, uh, of jabbing the, the edges a little bit against in the other way so if I'm going this way uh, I'm turning the skis uh, uphill to the right and and then straight after that straight after that I need to do it in one move I I put my skis on edge and then I ease them over and make the turn so when I'm skiing slowly and um, I'm, I'm always looking for some snow piles or small moguls or well moguls not moguls or bumps just small piles of snow the slope is always a little bit uneven so it's it's a great way it's not just linking turns it's it's a great way to ski this drill in this drill we are skiing forward and then we are easing off the edges skidding down a little bit and making setting the edges and as we set the edges we unweight straight after that we go with our upper body we go across in the, the direction a little bit downhill and make the skis a little bit cross under and pivot due to the um, flex, flexing the leg, legs a little bit, pivoting, making a new turn. When we uh, come out of the turn, we can either do a turn straight after or we can just go across the hill just looking for a better spot to turn. Uh, maybe there's other people around, you know, maybe there's ice, maybe there's some object or some people we want to avoid. So it's good to be able to to either link the turns or make the turns out of the traverse. It's very useful and it will make you look much better, like a much better skier. And not always just linking turns, just always depending on having this link thing. So once you, you, you have to make a turn longer, then you have a problem. How do you initiate the next turn? Well, in this case, you don't. You just put the skis on edge and, and you will turn. I've been talking for a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. So let's go and look at the demo and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to turn off this camera now and put on the computer. Let's let's just see. Okay, so I've turned the computer on. Have it right here, and we're going to take a look at the um, at the demo. I'm going to run it in slow motion and try to uh, to explain what's happening here at the same time. Before we start linking turns, we need to practice turn in initiations and turning out of a traverse. Here I'm going across the slope, setting an edge, but continuing in the same direction. Here I reach the end of the trail, so I need to turn around, evenly brushed. Okay, so I come here in the opposite direction. I have a centered stance. I'm a little bit countered. My weight is on both skis. I slide down to mimic the edge set. Here we go. Edge set, pole plant, extension. One more. 
edge set pole plant extension except here I turn my feet into the fall line and um, make a turn in the opposite direction I continue across the slope in a traverse now I need to initiate my turn with a uh, edge set here we go edge set pole plant and we move into the second phase of this drill where we're linking turns at first we will be linking a little bit bigger turns look at the edge set at the end of the turn I need that for momentum here as well quite a big turn I engage my edges for an edge set before I turn around these are quite big turns and now I move into the final phase of this drill where I'm linking short turns down in the fall line uh, the edge set is followed by uh, a pivot where I turn my feet around in the opposite direction nice and round trying to keep the movement in my legs tipping with both my knees my feet and uh, we come to a standstill and um, that was basically the the demo so just a recap uh, carving turns in carving turns you just put your skis on edge and that that's how you turn in skidded or brushed turns the ones we're looking at here we need to ease the pressure off the skis we can do it either by up and waiting by extension in the, the old-fashioned way uh, or uh, or the old classic way because it's not old-fashioned it's old classic maybe we talk about old classic things it's, it's not outdated in any way it's just people don't use it that much um, um, except for in bumps and powder and all these things but anyway uh, without knowing it <laughs> and people are faking it uh, and people are doing all sorts of things just to try to avoid doing it or calling it what it is um, so up and waiting or then we can use a bump uh, to turn because the bump will give us the, the, the necessary up force we need to unweight our skis or then we can do it with this pre-turn concept uh, which is which is uh, in my opinion one of the best ways to ski it was by the way a, a ski instructor Dolphy from uh, uh, Austria that showed me this back in the 70s I think and um, it's it's this drill is something I've been doing every year I do this drill many times uh, and I do it of course uh, as I ski I don't do it as a drill I just do it as, as part of my regular skiing um, uh, so the we need to be able to up on weight or is the pressure off our skis be it extension and up on weighting or be it a bump or be it the pre-turn uh, they all uh, do the same thing they ease the pressure off the ski and or then we can do uh, linking turns and when we're linking turns we're not using you know it's like it looks like it's really effortless and and um, that's why uh, uh, many people ski uh, linking turns uh, down the fall line uh, because it's it's kind of the, the easiest way to turn of course is to be using the momentum uh, uh, and the rebound from from previous turns Hey, thank you very much for watching this video. I would very much like for you to try this out and tell me what happened. Send me a link of a video if you're doing it. We can do it together. I can help you out. Not all of you, but some, probably. <laughs> okay, that's all now. That's all now. Bye bye. Okay, welcome to my studio. <laughs> I have uh, prepared a video for you. Oh, well, today's video that um, uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm making for you. Hi, this is Tom from TDK Ski Service. No? 